When we are installing an amplifier to power one or more subwoofers in our car audio system, we are going to use a monoblock amplifier. The term monoblock means that the amplifier has one channel. But things can get confusing when a monoblock amplifier has two sets of connections. Does this mean that I have to connect two subs? Does this mean that I need to bridge the terminals? If I'm only going to use one subwoofer, how do I know where to connect the wires? Hey there, I'm Mark. Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. In this video, we're going to answer all of those questions. We're going to do some testing. Let's dive on in and learn. So here we have two amplifiers, and both of these amplifiers are a monoblock. We've got the Audio Control L. LC-1.800 and the Audio Control LC-1.1500. Although these are both monoblock subwoofer amplifiers, this one has a single pair of outputs and this one has two pairs of outputs. Now here we have a multimeter and I've put it into continuity mode. What that means is when we complete a circuit, you're going to hear a beep. So let's see what happens when we put this on the single terminal. Nothing, there's no continuity between those two connections. On our double terminal, let's see if it's the same case on the positive and negative. Yep, no continuity between those connections, but let's check a positive to positive. The multimeter is telling us that those two connections are connected. Let's do the same with the negatives. Same case there. So as we've just tested on an amplifier like this, the negative terminals are wired together and the positive terminals are also wired together. And to visualize this, we can just add little jumper wires like this if this helps you better understand. Do note that this is just for illustrative purposes so that you understand positive is connected to positive, negative is connected to negative. We don't need to do this with our wiring. This offers no performance benefit. This right here with the negative connected to negative and positive connected to positive is the exact same thing as this or as this. So to answer some questions here, do we have to use two subwoofers? Do we have to have a wire connected to each of these terminals? Is this a two channel amplifier? No, this is a single channel amplifier. And while you could use two subwoofers in this configuration, you could also wire the two wires together and make a connection like that. We don't have to use all of the terminals. The thing that is important is when we're connecting our subwoofers, we wanna make sure that we don't have an impedance below the minimum value that an amplifier can handle. Do you need to do any special wiring to bridge the terminals? Nope, just treat it exactly like it was just a single set of terminals like this amplifier here. If we're only using one subwoofer, where's the best spot to connect the wires? Again, it doesn't matter. Negative to negative and positive to positive. So with everything I've told you so far, this terminal is essentially exactly the same as this terminal. So that begs the question, why do amplifier manufacturers add this anyway? And how can you use it for far better wiring? We're going to talk about that in a second, but real quick, I do want to thank our sponsor for this episode, Audio Control. Audio Control has several amplifiers in their amp lineup, but their subwoofer amplifiers have this feature here built in, which is called AccuBase. A lot of times on a factory car audio system that you might be using for a source to send signal to these amplifiers, when you turn up the volume, they intentionally reduce the bass output, and they do that to protect their inexpensive stock speakers. But when we upgrade to an aftermarket amplifier like this, we don't want that bass roll off anymore. So Audio Control's unique AccuBase technology helps us to restore that bass as we turn up the volume. This is a very nice feature to have as the bass will continue to increase in output as you turn up that volume. Now these have a ton of other unique features so if you guys want to see the full detailed videos I did about these you can check them out on the channel and I'll also put links to learn more down in the video description. So why do amplifier manufacturers bother having this two pair style anyway? Well, first off, we are powering powerful subwoofers, so we need to have large speaker wire. Imagine that we are using this large speaker wire to power two subwoofers. With a large wire size like this, it's going to be very difficult to double up wires within a single terminal, and for that reason, they have two terminals. So now I could connect two sets of this wiring easily if need be. But again, remember, I hope none of you skipped forward in the video. We don't have to use all these terminals, and we could always run just one wire if needed to one subwoofer. 
Another advantage of this terminal is let's say that we have a dual voice coil subwoofer. With a dual voice coil subwoofer, there's going to be two positive connections and two negative connections. And you always have to make sure that all of these are connected. You can't just connect one voice coil or the other. They must all be connected to the amplifier. With this style of terminal for wiring simplicity, you could have this wire going to one set of voice coils and then this wire going to the other set. As a quick side note, if you're wondering what these are, these are wire ferrules and you can learn more about these on the channel. So moral of the story, this style of terminal isn't significantly different from this style in any way. It doesn't make it a two channel amplifier. You don't have to do any bridging. It just gives you more wiring options. Now, if you really want to improve your car audio system, I recommend this video here. Next time you need a subwoofer amplifier, definitely check out show sponsor Audio Control. Learn more at the links down in the video description. A big thanks to them along with Anthony, Mike, Mo, Jerry, Marcos, William, and the rest of the CAF membership team. And thank you guys for tuning in and watching.